All right, KMR, got the MX-5 on the lift, been doing some maintenance. If you've been checking out the channel, we were talking about our HGT setup just last week. Right now, we've got the intake manifold off, dropping the Siemens 22cc injectors back in, new belts, fresh gaskets, getting this thing ready to hopefully hit some events, do some burnouts, melt some rubber, throw some fireballs, because this thing's definitely a flamethrower. This was the test bed where we really set up and learned a lot about our 20B setups. Um, similar wastegate combination, turbo combination. Although this one does have a 321 stainless thin wall manifold, works great. Uh, we ended up going thick wall on the RX-8 for no particular reason. It was just the materials we had around the shop. Cooling setup, very similar. We've got the front mount intercooler with then twin Mishimoto oil coolers with puller fans sucking that air up and out the hood. Um, always remember to get cold air, fresh air. So that is one of the reasons we have the air filter sticking out the hood is we don't want too much hot air being pulled in through that turbo. Running about 33 pounds of boost on tip-in and it stabilizes at 30 PSI. Uh, we were originally running a nitrous system on the car and the plumbing is still there. We could definitely hook it back up. Although uh, when I ran this car at Super Drift uh, earlier in the year, I ran it without the nitrous and it was still working great. When we had it on the dyno, it was hovering around 900 horsepower, spinning the tires without the nitrous. So was happy with that. Although it would be fun to hook the nitrous system back up. Let me know if anybody has more questions about this car. Um, there's that HGT shifter. It goes down to the link linkage that showed in that other video. Um, and I did convert the car to a lay down uh, Siki shifter earlier in the year. It used to have more of a rally upright shifter, but I'll be honest, I'm just always more comfortable with the lay down, kind of learned on street cars. So I went back to that style, especially since the driving compartment on this MX-5 is not particularly big so i want to be as comfortable and have as easy of a time in there as possible we did go all hard lines on the plumbing i think it's real nifty loved it but you know five years six years from when we built the car it's now a maintenance item we've had to go through and replace them i think if i were to do it again or when i start building the new car very soon i'm going to go with braided stainless or some type of braided an line um, that's both uh, heat resistant and uh, looks good. I mean, one of the reasons we did go with the hard lines was we kind of wanted that look. Even though the engine is solid mounted, the transmission is solid mounted, we have had some issues with vibrations right at the firewall where their bulkhead fittings are going through the firewall. Um, and I think it's just a matter of harm harmonic vibration. That rotary RPM has been known to shake some things loose or just give them a little bit of vibration. So that's what's up with the MX-5. Uh, we mocked up some ducting down low for the intercooler, oil coolers, and power steering. And uh, I think I managed to spill some oil down there while we were working on our plumbing, which I still need to tidy back up. So hopefully uh, hitting the track soon. I think right after Utah with the Formula Drift RX-8, um, which we need to do some maintenance on. Uh, we'll be hitting the track, hopefully, for Hot Pit with the MX-5. So we'll see how all that goes. Definitely uh, let us know what you'd like to see from the channel if you have those rotary questions. And we're just wrapping it up over here. Time to get back to work. I'm going to wrap on out of here and finish putting this back together. So... I can get on with that customer work and get out on the track. Brap, brap, I am out.